What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Play to Win. This is the series where I try to make the well, I try to take the two most overpowered teams in my opinion and go on a crazy good streak with them. Uh, at the moment guys, from the end of the last episode, the streak was 16 wins, 0 draws and 0 losses. Just to let you know, I have had one game around the 30th game where um I got disconnected from the EA servers whilst winning 3-0. Um however, that that now counts as a loss on the record, but of course, in the rules I stated in the first uh, the first episode, that goes down as a win because I was winning comfortably and it was the EA servers, not myself. Um, so today, guys, I just want to spend the first little bit of the video talking about free kicks and how to take free kicks. Now, I'm building a free kick tutorial. I've got a lot of different kind of set pieces saved up, not just uh, direct free kicks, but also like custom set pieces and things. And hopefully it won't be too much longer for that. I'm probably th probably looking at about another six or seven days uh, before I manage to get that to you guys. But that was a nice little goal there from Sissy as well. But um, I had a free kick in this game and I just wanted to break the free kick down a little bit for you, just so I could show you exactly what goes through my mind when I... Uh, when I take a free kick, um, and this is one that's quite close to the box, so pretty much everyone can score them. But one thing that I will advise everyone um, with any ultimate team that you build, guys, have a free kick specialist in your team because you will not regret it. You know, for me, I've got Ronaldo in one team, I've got Arteta in the other. And as you see here, guys, just an easy, easy free kick. That's literally, I will score that free kick nine out of ten times, and I'm going to show you exactly what I have to do to score that free kick right about now. Uh, as soon as the little graphic comes up so it's around 25 yards out which is super simple and when you're that far out you want to put just about two bars of power on you can see the two bars in the bottom right hand corner um, a little bit more is okay but too much and it's going to go over or hit the bar uh, and too little obviously it'll either hit the wall or the keeper will save it very very easily and all you need to do guys as I've put a graphic of actually well what I do with the controller all you need to do is hold shoot for that like 1.5 to 2 seconds to get that 2 bars of power and then just hold up on the left analog stick obviously it's exactly the same for Xbox except you use B and up and if you use Pro Evo controls so you've got square or X to shoot then uh, use those to shoot obviously um, but if you just hold up uh, and either up and a little bit left or just directly up you'll be absolutely golden and that will go in 9 times out of 10 um, the the reason why you don't want to put any curve on it at that stage guys is because you're way way too close to get the correct amount of curve if you actually try and bend that around the wall you're going to end up not not getting it on the actual goal it will end up hitting the side netting uh, or just going wide which is not what you're looking to do um so i've asked for some questions on twitter guys um and if you guys do want to ask some questions for me then make sure you follow me on twitter and today yesterday i was unable to play uh, any subscribers uh, for the play uh, so, What's, what's it called subscriber showdown series um, simply because I, I, I was real busy throughout the beginning of the day and then towards the end of the day when I was ready to play some subscribers PS3 ultimate team was down for like four or five hours which was quite frustrating and uh, kind of just negated anything that I wanted to do so today guys I will be playing subscribers it will probably be around around 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, got a few errands to run today and stuff but uh, yeah I've been asking for some questions on Twitter guys and if you want to play me guys make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's where I announce when I'm gonna be playing subscribers um, the first question we've got is from Hill uh, Giovanni or El Shirley uh, for me it would be Giovanni he was just um, he was just an all-round solid player the fact he was silver was crazy because you know he had stats of a gold uh, El Sharawi is good, um, like real good, you know. Um, the, the only thing I just don't like about him, maybe Giovanni had more strength. And for me, Giovanni's long shots were a lot more effective. I scored a hell of a lot of long shots with Giovanni. And although I haven't really played with Sharawi too much, um, I probably played like 100 games with him at most, whereas I would have played r around like 500 games with Giovanni. Um, I just don't feel like his uh, his long shots are all that brilliant. So for me, it would be Giovanni. Uh, Andy says pizza or pasta. Um, I will go for pizza. I, I can't really eat pizza too much because the tomato base gives me ulcers. But uh, yeah, I prefer pizza much, much more. Uh, Lukey says, would you ever give up YouTube if you were to save a relationship with someone? It depends on what extent um, YouTube had on my life. For example, if I was one of these guys that earns an actual living from YouTube and it was my job and you know I'm making whatever, whatever amount of money a year that makes sure that there's food on the table and the bills are paid, then it would be 
a lot harder to to give that up because I'd be li essentially just giving up a job. You know, I wouldn't have another job to go to. That would be it. I would just give up job. I would give up my income source, um, and uh, that would be a bit tough. If as the current state is now, where I have a job and I do YouTube. Um, it would be relatively easy for me to give up YouTube to save a relationship depending on whether or not the person that was asking for you to give up YouTube to save the relationship was actually warranting the the save of the relationship if that makes sense like if somebody's just being very very petty and is like oh you, you know you spend way too much time on YouTube like YouTube or me uh, probably wouldn't give up YouTube like if there was like legitimate reasons then yeah I'd probably give up YouTube for it but if it was just something real petty like and selfishness or something then hell no next question we got Harry Chesters says Jessie J or Katy Perry um, Jessie J for her music without any shadow of a doubt I think she's got an incredible voice uh, and like if you guys go on YouTube and search for Jessie J acoustic you'll find that she's actually got a really, really good natural voice and a great natural talent. Um, in terms of looks, I mean, there's... Um, Jessie J's alright sometimes, and Katy Perry's nice when she's got makeup on, but um, they're both pretty uh, pretty much dogs, you know? Like, I don't know, Katy Perry... I, I'd probably go with Katy Perry, just because when she's got makeup on, she looks, uh, she looks a lot better than Jessie J when she's got makeup on. Uh, next question we've got is from Kyle. If your house was burning down and you had to grab one item, what would it be? Um, it would probably be my external hard drive because that's got everything on it. Like, you know, everything that I've got on my iMac, on my laptops, uh, they're all backed up onto my external hard drive. So, um, you know, ev everything else is replaceable, really. You know, clothes, computers, um, that's all replaceable. But the, the, there's a lot of stuff on that hard drive uh, like lyrics songs music um, that I've written and created uh, gameplays um, just a lot of other you know just a lot of like photos and videos of family and friends and stuff that you can't replace um, so yeah for me it would probably be my external hard drive or my uh, maybe my girlfriend who knows um, and he says lemon or lime, lime, can't stand lemons, can't eat limes anyway because the citrus acid, just like tomatoes in pizza bases, gives me mouth ulcers, but uh, yeah. Um, Jack Burgess says Cornetto or Solero? For me, Cornetto, I don't really like ice creams that are the kind of Solero style, you know, I like ice creams that are just got a bit of everything, nuts, ice cream, chocolate, the um, the cone kind of thing. And all that jazz. Uh, we'll ask one more. Um, we'll ask one more. We'll answer one more. Elden Hero Nice, he says, are you excited for Saturday? Super pumped. We've got Elden Hero and a few other of my friends coming down for, for Saturday for the weekend. So that should be an absolute blast. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the end of the end of the episode. I'm working on another episode for tomorrow, which should be pretty awesome. Um, it's a bit different to what I usually do. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you like this. Um, I'm going to be getting a free kick tutorial out as soon as possible. Thank you all very much for watching. The current record stands at 20 wins and no losses. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And before I go, I just want you to put in the comment section, oh, wow, the current record is 23 wins. Hmm, interesting. Um... Yeah, I want you guys to put in the comment section how far you think the streak can go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.